This video was dedicated to Comet, who passed away during the making of this video. Hey everyone, here's something I've been working on for a while using my extra time at home. So as you can see, here is a wireframe cube. Using a item in my inventory, I can rotate in the X, Y, and Z axis by moving my character around. Looks cool, but that's not it. I can actually move around 40 shapes in uh, using this map. So I'll render a hypercube I have uh, made before. So you may have seen a shape like this, whether it be a science video or in science fiction. This is a 40 hypercube, and it is the fourth dimensional equivalent of a cube. So uh, also before any of you guys say anything in the comments, time is not the fourth dimension. This is looking at spatial dimensions and the dimensions actually don't have an order. So anyways, I can rotate this hypercube like I would a normal object by using the item again. Uh, just like as I did before, but as we go up a dimension, we can actually rotate it by six more planes. So instead of saying axis, I see planes because when rotating in 4D, you actually rotate on planes rather than rotating on an axis. Uh, this is unanimous to how when you rotate a cube, you rotate by an axis, but when you rotate a square, you actually rotate on a point. So as you go up a dimension, the method that you rotate on also goes up a dimension. So here I'm going to rotate on one of the planes, using the item again. So a hypercube is made up of 8 total cubes. Uh, this is similar to how a cube is made up of 6 squares. Unfortunately being in a 3D world, we can't accurately display a 4D object, so we have to put it in 3D and uh, I'm applying a perspective to it. Just like how you can draw 3D objects on paper uh, despite it being 2D. The reason the there's a square in the middle and it's smaller than the outer cube it's because it's actually further away from the camera in the fourth dimension just like when you look at a wireframe cube the further side seems to be smaller just because it's further away from the uh, from where you're observing in this hypercube the, the cube further in the fourth dimension looks smaller uh, using an item in our hotbar we can actually turn this off by rendering in uh, orthographic mode you can see that there's actually no more perspective to it, so when I rotate it around, it's just gonna look like it's sliding back and forth. So, and by moving it like this, uh, you can see that this hypercube is made up of 8 cubes. So yeah, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Yeah, and now you can also build your, uh, build your own 4D objects. Uh, here in the area given, uh, just as how a 3D printer puts many 2D objects on top of each other to make a 3D object, this maps puts a bunch of 3D objects on top of each other to make a 4D object. You can think of these separate boxes as a layer of a 4D object, getting further and further away as you move right. So, as we get onto more complex shapes, you may see that your computer starts to slow down. For that reason, I have included three different modes you can set things to. Particle, small blocks, and large blocks mode. So, uh, using this tool, you can actually change between those. Uh, small blocks use armor stands to show all the blocks, which, although they look nicer uh, due to them being able to move around, uh, they are fairly laggy. Large blocks uses normal blocks to render the object, which means there are barely any entities in the world and it is less laggy, but it looks pretty ugly. And then there's also particle mode, which is about medium lag. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of hard to see the transformations uh, when you when you apply them. Uh -huh. uh, I decided to make this project because most of the 4D simulators online were on a 2D surface and it was really confusing to see uh, what the shape actually looked like. In Minecraft, however, uh, I can fly around and observe the object, which I think is really beneficial if you want to visualize 4D objects. Also, I wanted to learn matrices and I thought this project was perfect. Well, that's about it. Uh, there'll be a world download in the description. Please go out and play it. Uh, just a fair warning, you may want somewhat of a beefy computer to do this. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.